Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. Have you ever thought about creating clones of yourself? Well, today, I'm going to be showing you how to do that using Caden Live. Go ahead, clone. All right, so clone number two is here. So if you ever want to multiply the amount of geekiness, all right, so as you can see there, me and my clone, we're going to show you how to do this, and it's not going to be as difficult or as weird as you might think. Okay, so once we're in Caden Live, we could start the process of cloning yourself. But before we do that, it is very important that whenever you are creating your videos, there are a few things that you definitely want to have. The first thing is you need some type of tripod because you actually want the position to be exactly the same. The second and more important thing is your actual lighting. Because you're shooting two different videos, then you actually want the lighting to be as consistent as possible. And so the best way to do that is to either do this at night with controlled lighting or in a dark room with controlled lighting. Because if you're doing this where you have sunlight coming in or cloudy weather, that can completely change the look of the second or third video, whatever you have, because the lighting is not going to match. Okay. And then the final thing is, as you are creating your videos, make sure that you are aware of where you are in the frame. Because if you're not, you're going to run into a situation where your videos will overlap each other because they're, you know, basically too far in in the frame. Okay, so just kind of frame it and kind of take a guess of where you should be, where that line is going to be. And this will make more sense when I bring in a second video. And so I have it right here. So right now, if I actually watch this, so it overlaps the existing video. But as I was saying, if you did not have this frame correctly, this video, this second clone will overlap the other one, okay? So try to keep some distance of that. So now that you actually have the second or whatever clone video you have, the way you would separate this and put it all in one is to use this effect called rotoscoping. So you would simply go to your effects tab, bring rotoscoping right down here on the second video. Okay, now there is going to be a slight bug with this. And the reason being is because the version of Caden Live I'm using is 19.04. Point one, and there is a slight bug with rotoscoping and I'm going to show you how to fix that. So once you have that, you would actually zoom out and with rotoscoping, you choose basically the square that you want to keep. Okay. So we're going to create a square in the video portion we want to keep and the other part will not be there. So you would choose a point here, point here, like a box and it doesn't have to be perfect. And once you get to the point where, okay, this is the box I want, just right click on your mouse and it removed the other portion. And here's that bug that I talked about in this version of Caden Live. Uh, before, whenever you use the rotoscoping and close this off, you would automatically see the video below that because of this alpha mode. But in this case, it doesn't show up right away. So the way you fix that is under mode, choose a different mode like RGB, and then go back and choose alpha. And there you go. You see the second video and you could test that out. Just go ahead and try that out and there's a clone. So let's go ahead and zoom in. Okay, so let's try it again. There's a clone. But you'll notice something else. There is a clear distinct line right here uh, because this is actually where you cut off the rotoscope, that box. And so what you wanna do is blend this in as best as possible. Okay, so you'll go back to the rotoscoping and use this thing called feather width. Now you can play around with this to see what works best. But for me, it's normally going to be anywhere from 22 to 27. It's normally the numbers that works. You're going to have to play around with it. And now if you watch it again, this should be pretty close. As you can see there, you don't see that line right here. And there is some lighting differences. But as I said earlier, this is really a simple and quick way to do this. If you actually wanted to get more advanced, then you can. But this is how I do it right now. And as you can see there, there is my clone and body double. <laughs> and so... That's the best way that I know of right now to quickly do this. Uh, but maybe later on, if I could, you know, learn some newer techniques that work better to make this look even more seamless, then I might make a follow up video for that. And so that's it for today's video. If you actually had any thoughts or maybe any other ways to create your own clone, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you actually want to see my entire Caden Live tutorial series, I will leave the playlist in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos 
plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com, and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.